the Chancellor of the Exchequer is set to reveal plans to make the UK the undisputed gateway to international trade and commerce after Brexit when he gives his annual Mansion House speech this evening. The speech is one of the Chancellor's yearly opportunities to give an update on the state of the British economy. In a rallying cry of support for Brexit Britain, Philip Hammond will lay down new measures intended to open up the City of London to trade beyond the EU and make the UK the undisputed gateway to global markets. In the City address he is expected to say, Global Britain is not just a strategy for Britain's economic future, it's a statement about what kind of people we are, and about the economy and society we want to be. Connectivity was always at the heart of London's success, and to succeed in the future, we must remain connected to the world, including the important emerging markets. The comments are likely to please conservative Brexiteers, a lot of whom have regularly slammed the Chancellor for trying to soften Britain's exit from the EU. In January, when Mr Hammond told business leaders in the Swiss resort of Davos that Britain would only look for modest changes in its relationship with the EU, he was told by former Minister Andrew Percy to put a sock in it and to stop writing his own Brexit policy. The Chancellor will also take the opportunity to support Theresa May's plans for extra NHS funding. Earlier this week, the Prime Minister announced a long-term funding package that could give the NHS an extra £20 billion every year, supported by tax rises. Mr Hammond will tell his Mansion House audience, we are getting debt down while investing in Britain's infrastructure, supporting our vital public services and helping hard-working families across the United Kingdom. This week the Prime Minister announced a five-year NHS funding package that will boost spending on health by over £20 billion a year in real terms in England alone. Across the nation taxpayers will have to contribute a bit more in a fair and balanced way to support the NHS we all use.